into October, let's talk about cybersecurity. Why? It's Cybersecurity Awareness Month. And this week, uh, the focus has been on different ways to protect your information online. Well, scammers, as we know, they're always coming up with new and creative, innovative ways uh, to steal from all of us. So let's talk about the latest trend, which includes the use of social media, uh, setting up all kinds of fake accounts and if, uh, using names and images of well-known public figures. Specialist investigator uh, Mike Ballhase making time for us this afternoon. They really don't give up these scammers, uh, do they, Mike? Good to have you uh, on the show. Tell me about this new trend using social media, but how does that end up with me being scammed? Good afternoon. Well, Gareth, thank you for the opportunity. You might be next. So anybody that has any worth or name or fame, whether it's a business owner, a celebrity, it doesn't mind. The uh, knockers and scammers, the cyber crime nists, uh, the criminals uh, that use that uh, will use your information in order to gain money from unsuspected people that thinking it's you or some organization. Like in our case, it has happened that uh, our name and reputation has been many a times, especially on TikTok, being used in the background where there's photos of me and our organization and all our projects, all the work that we do. And then... Um, they unfortunately lure in people because they are interested. And this could be the Ruperts. This could be a company like Diskem. It could be any uh, well-known um, actor or artist. And uh, uh, people are interested. They want to get involved. And then, sure, very quickly they do some trading or get some way to get you to get uh, money to them or give them money and then you are knocked and scammed. So I want to warn the public not to get involved unless you are absolutely sure it's me or you or whomever you are dealing with. Unfortunately, people are too believing, get too quickly involved and give money and get involved in all and other ways, even in relationships, and then are later uh, very distraught what, is, what has happened to them. Mike, I want to ask you, because you make such a good point, to make absolutely sure that uh, the Mike Bullhase that I'm talking to is the actual Mike uh, Bullhase in this case. But how do I, as the average South African, know I'm going to use Diskem only because you use the name? I get a message on X or Facebook from Diskem saying that I qualify for a discount or I qualify for some kind of uh, special in-store reward. How do I go about proving that it's the actual Diskem? What do I, as a regular Joe in South Africa, look for? What do mm. I need to do? Well, the first thing uh, before you even go into any form of investigation is just to look at the language in the way the communication is. If it's bad English or a bad communicated, if it looks too good to be true and looks <laughs> or sounds a bit fishy, don't be interested. Immediately close, report, report, especially report, even on any and all uh, uh, platforms, Facebook, TikTok, report. You need to report. And then if you're still uncertain, you call the company. You call your local Diskem. Let's use Diskem as the uh, example. And you ask them, uh, you have received this, and is it from them? Look, this can be something from SARS. It could be something from even the municipality. Mm -hmm. It could be something from your bank. The latest scams we've received is so it looks like the real dollar bill, but they catch the people, especially from the banks, and you give your OTP, you give your information, and voila, your, your account is empty. And then, as I've said, the abuse of names and reputations, you need to call that person. And I don't mind if people call me and say to me, Mike, is it really you? Yeah. So you must have a proper electronic business card available as businessmen, as a celebrity, even if you're an Anton Rupert or the president, you need to obviously always have your credentials ready so that you can forward it to the uh, uh, people that are uncertain whether it's you on the other side yeah. of the line. Mike, let me ask you this just as I, as I say goodbye to you, because I know you're over in Bangkok as well, and I know it's uh, a very different time zone. So I'll ask a last question as I say goodbye. Is there something that we could be doing on our social media accounts? You can use me as an example uh, that is making me more susceptible to these scammers? Is it because of what I'm doing on X, what I'm looking at on Instagram? Is there something I can change in my behavior 
on social media that makes it less likely for me to be targeted by scammers or is that just uh, not how it works? It's the luck of the draw, the scammers go for everyone. It's a, it's a heavy question and it's got a few answers, but thanks for taking me in consideration. It is about uh, half past nine here in Bangkok uh, and uh, it's wonderful here. I don't have to lock doors. I don't have to worry what's going on around me. I'm not going to be kidnapped or taken. Uh, there's no crime here. Um, it's, it's absolutely, it's, I have no words, but be that as it may, uh, Gareth, in your situation, you are well known. So uh, any well-known person uh, needs to take precautions. Uh, the first one I would suggest is be on social media only if necessary by making statements. Don't get into a chit chat or a banter or a he says or a she says and never flaunt yourself. Uh, never show what car you drive, your mm. car registration, your home details, uh, your holiday, where you go, your wife, family and your friends. You cannot, unfortunately, on social media anymore, uh, present your lifestyle. Because if you do lose your phone, or your phone is hacked, or somebody has it in for you, then if they retrieve or get all your information, that is what they will work about, whether they will extort you, uh, or, uh, you know, make fake profiles of you, and even create fake information of you. They can even use your head and put a naked body underneath it with photoshopping nowadays. So unfortunately, there's only so much you can do. But if you are famous, you are well known and you are a worth person. I mean, a lot of money. You are a target to the cyber criminals out there and they will do whatever they can if they want to hurt you in any way financially, get money from you or want to hurt your name and reputation, they will use social media. So be very careful. Have as little as possible information of yourself on social media in order to prevent this. Yeah, it's a fantastic advice. It really is. It's so easy uh, for people to fall into that trap. They start giving away photos of their house and you don't even know it, but you can see their security in the background. You can see what their gates look like. You can see what kids, uh, what school their kids go to. It's a real mess. And Mike, thank you very, very much. It's such good advice. Uh, I'd like to talk to Mike again one day about the uh, influence of artificial intelligence as well uh, in social media but i'll get hold of mike uh, and our team will get hold of him to get him back on when it comes to ai and how that's affecting uh, fraud these days i don't know if it is but i get a sense it could very well be a uh, specialist investigator mike bohay is making time for us all over all the way over in bangkok as well 